Thanks. Uh, oh, okay. Um, <laughs> kill, destroy. Up I'm, to you. I will go second. Suitable match at least. Yeah, that's why I wanted to play on this match. <laughs> I was like, yep, that one, this one. 100%. Oh, oh, yeah, sorry, Greg. Um, yep, that looks fine. What do I take out? That's the question I'm asking myself now. Sorted. And the black tech whispers, can I just take a look at those, please? Yeah. Thank you. Taking out uh, my boots. My boots. Oh, yep. Sorry, I'm looking at them. Oh. Um, I completely forgot I had asked for that. <laughs> okay, cool. Sweet. Interesting. Yes, indeed. Why do you play that? I don't know. I was just given the dig. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's high roll Livia. So right, okay. We'll see how well it works. Maybe you would high roll me. Let's hope not. <laughs> That's the goal. Let's All make right. it let's take make it nice and fair, Rowan. <laughs> um alright. <laughs> and I'm going first, aren't I? Rolling to the scabbies. One action coin. That's fine. We'll move these away. <laughs> Dice. I'm just going to come in for three. Sure. I will block three. Sure. Um, and then I'm going to And go to you. Cool. I'm going to pitch three and come in with a spider spide for... Oh, no. I'm going to put a tunic counter. There we go. And then spider spide for one. <clears throat> if it hits attack action cards, I have minus one defense. Sure thing. We'll go. Isolate. Dominate, too. Go. 
going to Azuri. Shock. Death touch. Set that out. Three. And I will give you. I'll give you a blood rot box. Sure. Arsenal and Pasta. Uh, I'm gonna just come in with a claw. But three. No blocks. Sure. Take the butter. Sure. Take three. Giddy. Tunic to two. This is the slowest start I've ever had playing Libya. <laughs> Um, I think I'm just gonna see and see here. For six? Reaction. Sure. Come on. Sure. And Good cut from hand. And Shadow Flash. Sure. Eight. If it does not hit, you get a quick token. I don't have any quick tokens on me though, so we'll just have to wait for mm. mm. One floating. I'll just block four and take four. Death touch and a cut down to size. Sweet. Good to you. Sure thing. Tunic. Going to isolate. One dominate. I'm going to react with the Zuri. Sure. And do a shakedown. Sure. Choosing a color? Uh, yellow? Sure. I'm just thinking if I. Oh, hold oh, up. Yep. I haven't seen anything. I'm just oh. thinking if I want to react again. Yep, you're fine. Mm. Sorry about that. Jumping no, up. It's all good. Going, I'm going to react with flick knives. Sure. Shooting one spider's bite at you. Mm -hmm. So Take one. that does one damage, and then I'm going to react again, playing concealed blade, giving plus one to my attack, and if it hits, I get another blade. Sure. So this is seven. Uh, yes. And then I get to equip a blade, and I choose yellow. Um, cash in. Um, putting obliterate. I don't know how to pronounce that card name. Obliteroclast, I think. Obliteroclast. Sure. And then that goes to the. Thing. Yep. All right. 
you up. Your turn. I am. Oh. Um, all right. I think I should do the smart thing here, which is just not roll the scab skins. But also, what's the point if I don't roll the scab skins? I'm going to roll the scab skins. Why not? Two. Six. Three. Three action points. Nice. So Time of Torment, draw a card. Sick. Um, pitch to Gladrush Bellows, discarding. Oh, a random card. It's a random Sorry. card. It is. Uh, odds evens. Evens. I have two action points remaining still. Shadow of Blacksmith Fit. It's fine. Uh, drawing two cards with two resource floating. Yep. Um, I'm going to play cash in. Cash Drawing in two gold. cards. Nice. Drawing two cards. Very nice. Uh, with my two action points. I'm now just hoping you got, like, just reds. Uh-huh. <laughs> I don't. No. Yeah, I'm fine. Damn it. Yeah. Um, all right. So let's think about this. Okay, I have two resource floating. I have four cards in hand. technically all in graveyard. I don't think You close the chain and that goes. Oh, yeah, you yeah. can just close oh, the, the action, chain. The non-attack actions just all go to graveyard anyway. Yeah. Um, just, it's relevant for Levia. No, that's all good. Annoyingly, I don't think it matters at this point. Um, so let's go five off of Blood Rush Bellows. Mm -hmm. I will take five. Cool. No. You can do it. Cool. Uh, let's pitch to come in for five. I'll take another five. Cool. Pitch to CNC for six with go again and one action point remaining, two floating, one in hand. Well, not go again, just an extra well, action yeah, point. Well, yeah, one action point. Yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, Levy is good. She's kind of good, you guys. Take another six. Oh. And then, Boneyard Marauder. <laughs> Finishing three random cards from my graveyard. How One, two, three. Oh. Blood that gets turned off. Great. Uh, six. 
six. Oh, sorry, this is eight. My apologies, because it is a brute card, so it benefits from uh, Beast Within, not Beast right. Within. Um, Butter Spellers. My apologies, it's eight. Oh, good. I think this deck should run Raise Reflex just for this card. I think it would be so funny. <laughs> I'll block four. Take four. Sure. Draw and pass to you. Yep. Uh, Blood Deer's turned off. None taken this turn. Yep. I'll go looking for a scrap using two Nick resource. Uh, banishing a one attack card and then get plus one and go again. Sure. Five. Five. Go again. Paying with a tunic resource? Yeah. I don't think you're running Razor, but I didn't think you'd be running Pummel either. So that was an interesting. It does go again, anyways. It does, yeah. Uh, take five. Take five. <laughs> then I'll do D strike for five with draw a card. Sure. Sorry, this is target assassin. Assassin, yeah. Okay, cool. It doesn't work on that. Sure. Ah, uh, thank you. Sorry. Right. Yeah. Yep. I just feel like such an idiot when I do this, but it's what the deck's designed to do. Table. Six. Reaction points. Sasha can see me rolling, by the way. He does see what the dice lands on. Um, let's go for... Sick. Uh, let's go for Boneyard Marauder for six, banishing three cards at random from the graveyard. Oh, wait. Yeah. Cool. Six. I don't know why I just split the graveyard. <laughs> it's a good way to randomize it. It's such a small deck that it's hard to actually shuffle it. Yeah. I'm gonna block with Brown. Sure. Sight clean car? Yeah. I'll be sight clean in this card. Same card. <laughs> um, yeah, I hate when that happens. And then play for scene. Um, Slot so six. Cool. Opting. Cool. So, so oh, yes, sorry. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That, that's handy. I'd been real surprised if you passed on that. Yeah, that's. Uh, sorry. No, yeah, you're all good. <laughs> all, all good. All right. Uh, pitch to play Endless Moor. Banishing three cards from the graveyard. Technically, with one action point remaining. Sick. Sure, for, for nine. Nine. Not 
I can see why people like playing Livia. She's a little frustrating at times. Like, she can be quite slow to start off with. Two, and then sink, sinking. Apparently taking three. I'll be taking three. Uh, two, Nick, two, one. I'll pitch and play a spider's bite. One floating. Yeah, I needed the blue. I needed yeah. needed the blue. I had a I had a red and then drew into another red. Yeah, I I get you. And then opted into the blue. <laughs> To draw another, <laughs> to, I, to draw I again. I hate when that happens. Yeah, no, it's painful. Um, but that's nice. Blood rot. Yeah, let's take one. One? Yeah. Sure. Oh, Codex of Frailty. Puts an attack action card from the graveyard face down into the arse. Yes. Ooh. Do I have to reveal it? No. Oh. So you have to reveal it. Oh, you'll see it anyways. Yeah. Well, I suppose it's... To confirm that it's an attack re uh, an attack action. Oh. Well, and the graveyard is public knowledge as well, so theoretically right. you know which one goes missing. So yes, it would be public. Death touch. Death touch goes into arsenal, and then I pay one to bring it up. Sure. I'm just deciding if I'm triggering that as well. <coughs> They have to discard a card if they do that. All right. So. <laughs> oh, yeah. True. Yeah, because each hero does that. Oh. And you've discarded a card to put the... I didn't have to. I didn't have any cards in hand. You can play oh, it you without don't, you having. You don't have to meet the condition if no. you don't have cards in hand. That's why I had needed the blue. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I understand. All right. Um. Also, attack actions have minus one defense. Just letting you know. I'll do that. I'm going to take Boneyard Marauder. Sure thing. Oh, that's fine. And discard Shadow Puppet Tree. Sure thing. Cool. And I get a Ponder. Yep. And then I'll go take with this Death Touch for six. On head, choose any of the fun interactions. I am. Sure thing. I'll give you a pox. Your attack from Arsenal also does minus one. Yeah, I figured about my throw over there. Yep, and then I draw with Ponder. Yep. And Arsenal. Now we find out if it's all worth it. Out of ward, draw two, go again. Turning off blood debt. Yep. I really wanted a blue. Same. <laughs> <laughs> I sideboarded blues because I thought the previous match had too many blues yeah and now I've got none yep it's, 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 it's a good good match yep I, I get that I wish I just keep the shit of puppetry now um <laughs> 
Well, depending if I want to take the blood rot box. Mm. What did I choose? I chose go again, didn't I? Yes. yes I yeah. Like a dummy. Good old dummy. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> if I'd drawn a blue, it would have been fine. But I didn't. And that's only for two. So I think we just commit to it. Pitch to go to three for endless more for six or nine. I actually don't know how many misses were in there. Neither. It would be nice mm. to get a nice miss. But you only have four cards, so I'm assuming yeah. there's no misses. Yeah. Couldn't have possibly missed for nine. Technically, we go again, Technically but I have no reason. So. Yeah, mm. I should have chosen plus one. I shouldn't have bet on the drawing the blue. I yeah. block six here. Take yep. three. Two nick to two. And now pitch one. Looking for a scrap. Finishing a one attack. Spider's bite. Coming in for five, go again. No floating one card in Arsenal. Two from, from the uh, thing. blood rot. Cool. My apologies. Um. I really Christ. like this dice, you guys. I really like it. No go again, but Two action, action points. points. This one can just go back to the grave. Yeah. Oh, and your art of war. Come in for six. Great. Block six. Sure. I'll just tune it up and pass. Pitch to out of war, plus one, plus one, draw two. Sure. 
Turning off blood dip. Yep. And plus one, plus one. Yep. Perfect. That <coughs> goes into here, which is important. Four. Can we just commit to that? Probably. Yeah, I think I just commit to that. Um, pitching. What am I pitching? Swing big to play endless more, discarding three cards. True thing. For nine. One hand, one last order. Yep. Sorry, this is ten out of all. Pommel. So... How much again? Ten. Ten. A block nine. Take one. Yep. Ready. Sure thing. Probably I'll should have done that differently. I'll just come in for three, Dominic. <laughs> just from hand. Cool. <coughs> Two Nick resource floating in, that's it. Defense reaction. Sure. Two, four, six. Four, middle cards. Deal two damage. Yep. Uh, I'm gonna react as well then. Sure. Just attack with. Uh, shoot one at you. Uh, yep. That's gone. That's gone. Drop. Yeah, I need to just do it that way. <laughs> uh, those two are both in hand. Pitch to Dread Screamer. Discarding three cards from Graveyard. Uh, there's four in that stack. Oh. Turning off Blood Debt. For six. With Go again. Technically. Six resource, one, no cards. Nope. Nervous, I'll be honest. This graveyard management thing is really frustrating. Lot six. Sure. Just gonna pitch three and come in with a cut down to size. Six. Yeah. I do really want to swirl. Yeah, I'm 
also blue, and he's a dragon. His name's Yeah, it makes it hard with Levy at this stage. Yeah. Only one pummel? Do you feel for that? No, I'm not looking for pummel. Oh. That is a two cost card though, so. It is. Theoretically, I should maybe be worried about that. Probably. Okay, it's a generic. It's fine. Okay. Okay. I feel like I still have too many cards in the deck. The timer is What's my game plan? What is my game plan? This one's name is Wubby. Crown of Dom Dominion seems good with uh, the current play she made. It, uh, it was pretty, pretty decent. Yeah, it's basically designed to enable a super go wide turn. Mm. Um, which is good, but also it doesn't block, so it kind of just sits there for the rest of the game otherwise. Mm. Um, I feel like I kind of have to just do this, because if you have Pummel, there's no way I can block enough and survive anyway. It feels kind of like the safe play, but it's alright. Block three. GG. Good game. Yeah, I was just thinking, like, how could she get out of it? And I think the, if I the have... one way you could possibly get out of that would be two, yeah, two of these. Well, this hand actually does nothing. No. So, well, it plays Doomsday. Um, but you wouldn't be able to but... discard anything, would you? Oh, no, you would. But yeah. you would die to blood debt even if you overblocked yeah, on that turn, yeah. That's the thing, is that I have no way of like not dying to blood debt mm. if I block this out. Like yeah. everything in my hand except for the one attack that I have blocks two. Mm. And then this is the only way I can like guaranteed get blood debt turned off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um so I have to block with one card minimum, because I need three in the graveyard. And um cut down to size anyways, if you don't block with one card it yeah. Cuts your, cuts your card away. Yeah, exactly. So I need to block, and then I need to have enough to go back. Like, what I could have done the less safe play is double blocking here, mm. and then pitching, like, rolling the scab skins, which you have to then roll multiple action points for, pitching into the tome, and then trying to draw two cards, mm. which end up killing me because they do nothing. Um, so. Yeah, I think I played it correctly. There was one turn where I think I made a mistake, which was when I played the Endless more rather than a Swing Big, because mm. I'd already banished a card off of an Art of War, I think. So I could have played the Swing Big and kept three cards in my graveyard for the next turn, mm. which is when I started getting low on graveyard. Yeah. 
So. Yeah, I just think, uh, I don't know. I don't know where Zuri's place in the meta will be in the foreseeable I future. I don't think she shakes it up that much. She's like, very strong. Like, she's, there's... But I don't, I don't think she necessarily disrupts the dominant heroes the way she would need to. She's good fun. Don't get me wrong. She's fantastic fun. But, I don't know. I think... She's got a decent matchup against Icelander. Just for the disruption. Yeah. Um, I I think she's got a pretty good matchup against Oldham. Personally. Yeah. From I, what I've I seen. I also think the big winner out of Outsiders was Azalea. We oh, can, yeah. We can all acknowledge that, which I think is sick. And Arachne. You can't leave out Arachne. The, <laughs> the new Arachne. Blitz, uh, the, the, what's Blitz it? Blitz is a lot more interesting now. Yeah. yeah. Arachne Huntsman? Yeah. I think Azalea is still going to be a very dominant force in uh, I'm so excited Blitz. about it. I'm so excited. I'm not. I'm, like I, yeah. I don't know. I've always thought that she is busted. <laughs> no, actually, I just think... The, the, the support. Tim, yeah. yeah. Tim, don't even talk to me about popping and wild ride. I hate those cards. Those are garbage cards. No oh, one should ever run them and they suck. Wild ride gives you a chance to be able to play something on turn one. Yeah, but it's just garbage. Doesn't matter. I, I think. I think. So much. I think six potential go again, get more cards into your, into your graveyard on turn one. Then, yeah. Rather than pitch and come in for three is much more valuable in, oh, yeah. in, in Leviathan. But, like, th there, was, there were more ways that I could have gotten cards into a graveyard. Oh, like, hands getting down. a big six attack into graveyard. But then you but can also have the go again, which could somehow get you some more damage. Yeah. If, if someone, let's say, had just two blocks in their hand, that's three cards on that, and then you'll probably yeah, push through know. one more on the weapon. Yeah, I just don't think that the benefits of Wild Ride and Popping outweigh the fact that they don't block, and you can just miss as well. Like, I get the... <laughs> I can't really talk shit about, like, missing with Brute when I'm playing High Roll Livia, because... Um, I know that I rolled three sixes in this game, but <laughs> they're Greg's dice. I did not bring them from home and they have never which seen did, a microwave. Which one did you use? I was those ones. Those I ones? Think. I can't remember if I use the same one every time. Oh, guys. Oh, See, they, they can roll. Oh, there's another one. They can roll badly, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen a one yet. Yeah, if anyone plays Brute on Greg's stream ever, use these dice. They're really sick. Oh, there, there it go. is. There's there the it one. is. There's the one. And then roll the Gambler's Gloves. Oh, yeah. Gambler's yeah. Gloves. Still one still, action. still get a turn. Still there one action. Yeah. yeah. But no, I just... Popping and Wild Ride, I just can't get behind because if you... Like, if you win, you win big. But if you lose out, like... It then, can cost you the game with um, the yeah. thing. But then... Would you really take that chance if you like late? Late you, game. You'd, you'd probably pitch it, wouldn't you? If you could, if you could play something that would that if would have. If it's the choice between playing and pitching it, yeah, I would pitch it mm. or banish it off of out of war. Or yeah, but see, like there that. are different ways around not having to play it. Yeah. It's just for that 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 turn one niche turn that you might use it. I yeah. feel like it, it could be... I can't be argue against that. I used to run Nourishing and Dorinthia for yeah. turn zero Nourishing. Because so. I know Elijah's yeah. deck runs um, Wild Ride. Yeah. And from what I've seen is it's it's come in handy more times than not on just turn one. Yeah. And I feel like that's where its power is. It just, I think this deck has more non-attack actions than Elijah's That's does. why That's why early Which in the is, game I yeah. t turned to the Obliterclast. Yeah. Because I was like... I could use it. I've got the attack reaction right here. May as well pump a couple damage and then get the knife that actually would impact your gameplay because of the yep. the, I, the cards you already revealed yep. throughout the game. 100%. So I was like, possibly a good chance to throw that knife out right now instead yep. of getting that knife stuck in my arsenal and have it block, block out some other potential. Yeah, yeah. with attack reactions like that, there's really no like right thing to do other than playing it because mm. if you keep it in arsenal then it, like i've had attack reactions trapped in arsenal for whole games mm. just like waiting for the right opportunity there's never the right opportunity you just, just play, play it just play it yeah just play it. it's it's two extra damage it. and i don't see me losing out on that trade 
Yeah. Like you get extra two extra damage, but you get to replace the dagger, so it's not like you're losing a dagger in yeah. case you have to pitch pitch. Um, I think it's a sick attack reaction. I think it's really cool. It is. The, I'm a, I'm personally only running two. two. Two of them and two shreds. Yeah. Uh, for Because I'm not going to be throwing out too many knives. Because I can only run the ones that's in my sideboard. Yes. And yeah, if, I, exactly. if I go too much, then I'll be running eight, six, eight, eight knives. knives. Yeah. yeah. Or more, because I think you can run multiple copies of the same knife. I don't think there's any restrictions about the number of copies yeah. of a single thing you can have as long as it's equipment. Like, yeah. you could theoretically run eight tunics for yeah. some reason. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so yeah. otherwise I'd be running, like, multiple and then trying to keep bringing them back, but I just don't see that it's game plan efficient. working. No. Yeah. So normally against, like, things like Guardian, um, Dorinthia, a blood class and that weapon the the, the 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 flick knife sorry yeah works really well because you can go normal attack with go again yeah. just anything that doesn't really impact what your uh, ability was going to do then you can react with your blitter class yeah and then throw out cuz you is the, because is the dagger penalty for the turn or just for the combat chain next oh, okay it's the next yeah so if you play the the next non-attack you'd play would be impacted by that yeah. and obviously because it's in the reaction phase the next non-attack would be the next block yeah yeah so then that would impact and that would be um dorinthia every attack reaction you'd block with them if you could yeah and that it's all reactions so yeah. that that's quite an impact on that uh play as well yeah, yeah. But, no. but thanks for the game yes i'm gonna go have well. a vape yeah. Have a good one, guys. No, Thanks I for think the outsider stuff, there's a lot of very interesting things. Very excited to see Azalea doing well. Um, oh, Azalea's gonna rip. Yeah, she's yeah. so good. Yeah. Yeah. But like. May I add? I mean, if you forgot then, that would have been. Tome of Inertia. Uh, no, Codex of Inertia. We made a mistake. <laughs> watch it, watch it. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't bothered to read any of the codexes, but yeah, I'm, I'm loving Azalea, having a little bit more support. I'm really, really excited to see what people end up building. I'm in frailty! So, yeah. yeah. We'll see. Thanks, guys. Stay tuned. There'll be more games. Bye. Wait, did you have a ticket? Uh, uh, no, I'm taking a ticket.